The following compounds exist in equilibrium with the equation here shown below. At room temperature and pressure, the equilibrium lies well to the right hand side. For this question, we have to deduce which of the following values could be the equilibrium constant by using all of this information here. So let's start by jotting down a equation for the equilibrium constant. So if we had a Kc, for example, then our equilibrium constant is equal to the concentration of the products divided by our reactants. Remembering that if we have any mole values in front in the equation, then this is going to be the indice within our Kc equation. So here we're squaring some of these values because they've got a big two in front. So this is going to be our Kc equation. Now, if our equilibrium constant was roughly in the middle, then that would mean that we've got equal quantities on the top and on the bottom of our equation, which means that we will get a value close to one. So that is if it is equal. Now, if our equilibrium lies to the left-hand side, we would expect a value of less than one. So we're looking for standard form with negative indices. Or if we're looking for an equilibrium which lies to the right-hand side, we're going to be looking for a value that's much greater than one. And that's because we will have more of the products on top in our fraction. Therefore, we will get a larger value for Kc. So out of our values here, our answer could either be B or D, because these are the values which are much greater than one. So to determine which is which, we've just got to look at the units now. So the units for concentration are moles per decimeter cubed. So on top, we've got moles per decimeter cubed effectively cubed. And then on the bottom, we've got our moles per decimeter cubed to the power of four. So overall, we can cancel out the top and we can cancel out three from the bottom, which just gives us a moles per decimeter cubed on the bottom. So when we bring that up to the top, you change the signs. So our units are going to be mole to the power of minus one, because we flipped it from one to minus one, and then decimeters cubed. And this matches up with D. So our answer is going to be D.